Hey guys, so I'm doing my makeup and I'm watching Kristen game. There's Kristen. And um, I turned my head while I was doing my mascara. I mean, I have done some weird makeup mistakes, but really, <laughs> I had to document that. Makeup was looking really good till I nailed myself, like, oh, anyway. So quick face of the day. You know what? No, let me fix this. No one's gonna be able to look at me and take me seriously. Although, who takes me? I don't take myself seriously, so why you should, I have no idea. Hang on, this, this is very distracting. When I did that ad for the CoverGirl Foundation, the smooth skin one, the one with the like, sorry, the thingy that you use to smooth down your peach fuzz, they sent me a ton of CoverGirl products to try, and I completely forgot about this. I've never tried it, so this is the first go. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I tried the shade 105, which I believe is the lightest. And um, I really like how it went on. It's a little more yellow. I mean, I'm really, I don't know if I've always been pink based and just fooled myself, but lately I noticed that pink toned, pink undertone foundations work better on me, but it's definitely warmed up my skin. I like how it's sitting on my skin. So um, we shall see. And then I'm having my, I'm going to my friend's birthday lunch today, so I decided to wear the makeup that I bought her. My, not her makeup, but the makeup I already own. <laughs> That's the same as what I bought her for her birthday, so she can kind of see how to wear it. Um, so I used the Physicians Formula, what's this one called? Classic Nudes, and Bare Minerals. I can't open this one-handed. If I break my nail, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, um, this is their Top Shelf Duo. It's harder than it looks, guys, one-handed, I gotta tell you. It's these two, lighter shade all over the lid, um, the Canyon Classics mid-tone shade in the crease, and then this in the outer corner. Um, I probably should do a tutorial on that. It's pretty much a variation of the same look I do all the time. And then what else that's of interest? Clinique Cheek... I'm just dropping crap left and right. Cheek Pop in Ginger Pop. You know what? I need to blend. I feel like there's no blending going on here. There. And Clinique sent me yesterday... <laughs> A bunch of the new cheek pop, not cheek pops, lip color lip pops. I'm very excited. However, there's still quite a few colors that I really want, so I placed an order. <laughs> so um, I placed an order yesterday with Sephora. Um, I ordered the Clinique Cheek Pop in Nude Pop, that's new and exclusive to VIB Rouge um, customers for a week or so, I think, and then they'll release it to everybody. And I ordered the um, official packaging of my favorite Fab Pop. There's a few more of the more neutral shades I want to get my hands on, but I want to go to Sephora and play with them first. So I'm going to try the nude... What did she send me? Bear Pop. I am a lefty, so this is really hard to do. Wow. I think this is actually the exact shade of my lips. Wow. It's very moisturizing. I love this stuff. When we shot the video, I don't know how they're going to get any usable footage because the whole time I shot a video, me and Aaron, with these, and um, I couldn't keep my hands off them. I was just like, ooh, look at this one. Ooh, look at that one. Look, how, look at this. And they must have thought I was out of my mind. But I really, I love, I love the feel. This is turning into a commercial. It's not. I really do love this stuff. Obviously, I just bought more. Um, I love that, you know, you can see exactly what the color is. I just, I like the formula. I like the price point. I like that I can get it at Sephora. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I'm going to finish getting dressed. I'm going to spray my face with my MAC. MAC? I'm losing my mind. NYX Matte Finish. I don't know if this really makes my makeup last or not, but I like to pretend that it does. Also, today was the first day I officially tried the Colleen Rothschild um, sunscreen. I put it on last, kind of like a primer for my makeup. So far, the best feeling sunscreen I have ever used. It just, it felt like moisturizer. It just went right into the skin. It didn't leave my like white chalky, well, who knows? My face is so white, it probably could have and I wouldn't have noticed. But anyway, 
I don't know if it works. We'll, we'll find out. My youngest son has a track meet today and the stands face right into the sun. So we'll see. And um, I'm going to stop yapping now because we're coming up on five minutes and, and I will <laughs> I'll see you later. Dacos, and we're here to celebrate Becky's birthday. Wave hi, Becky. And all of her friends. There's Kiki. <laughs> and other people that probably want to remain nameless. <laughs> and we have drinks and tea, and we are going to dig in. Hey guys, I am getting into my car. It is in the 80s. It is so hot. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I just had the best experience. I was shopping at H-E-B, and I ran into a subscriber named Lori, who refused to let me film her. She said she didn't look nice enough to be on camera, but that was a bald-faced lie. Lori looked amazing, and it just it totally made my day. Like, I, I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's moments like that that just make everything that, I mean, I just, I love what I do anyway, but that just puts the cherry on top of the day. So thank you, Lori, for coming up and saying hello, and I'll definitely call you the next time I'm at H-E-B. We can meet up, and you better be in my vlog next time. Anyway, I'm going to go home and slap on some of that sunscreen I just reviewed because I'm off to a track meet. And it's hot and the sun is shining. I'm also gonna bring an umbrella to use as a parasol and put my hair up. It's just hot, it's hot. Woo, it's like we went from winter to summer. There's no in between, there's no spring. It's too bad. All right, I'm going home, bye. The dogs are gonna go bananas, come here. He's a big one. Don't leave, don't leave. Oh, there he goes. Hey guys, I'm at, whoo, somebody's running. I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm at the uh, middle school, 7th and 8th grade, boys and girls track meet. Okay, and um, I heard the gun go off, but I don't, oh, there they are. Wait, I'll stand like this and somebody will run by eventually in the distance. Is this the mile? Do we know what it is? Not, no girls mile, okay. My son's running Results the boys the mile. Boys anyway, thank you for spending another day with me and I will see you tomorrow. Okay guys, I think I figured out a way to do an outfit of the day in a very kind of trashy, unprofessional manner. I'm standing on a chair in my bathroom.